hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for utek from long time i didn't create videos regarding pc software development but today we came with the amazing x86 project by the bliss developers that is bliss os go bliss os go is the new variant of bliss os that is designed to run on low end devices and it's based on the android go bliss os go includes numbers of features that designed to improve the performance battery life and usability of low end devices with full android experience and gaming with the lots of customizations with the kernel su support it's currently released for the intel atom intel celeron intel pentium and amd devices today i'm going to flash this build on my old lenovo pc which has amd radeon processor with very pure performance you can permanently flash this on your device or can temporarily boot it while live boot using usb device so let's first quickly check out how to live boot the bliss os go use the usb 3.0 pen drive with the minimum 16 gb of storage connect it to the pc download the full bliss os iso file from the link given under the video description also download and install the application called as ruffers open it In the app user interface select the drive with same as you connected to the PC it's automatically gets available here keep boot selection as disk or iOS image then click select button locate and select your downloaded iOS file keep the partition scheme as MBR select the target system as UFA or BIOS select file system as FAT32 choose the cluster size as default 8192 now click start button you will get the another prompt saying the recommend option right in iso mode click okay now click start you will see the flashing of iso file was started with the green progress bar once you get the message ready it's done now close the window now power of the pc and again try to power on it immediately when your pc or laptop starts to boot repeatedly press your device boot menu key for my lenovo laptop it's f12 search your device boot key using the google search Phone will boot to this screen here choose your connected USB device name in my case it is Linux Lite Sandisk you will get another options like you can check on the screen here choose first option for live boot not the permanent installation of the rom we will see the permanent installation of rom at the end of this video today in this video we will see the general user interface of this x86 rom with its device details What's working on my PC? We will see all the new Bliss features. Next, I shown the bugs that I faced in this ROM. Finally, if you like this X86 ROM, then I shown the permanent installation process too with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. So my laptop booted to the Bliss OS Go. The user interface of this ROM is like Android devices. Its status bar, QS panel, app drawer, navigation bar, recent panel, volume control, etc. Actually, all the Android X86 project has the same user interface of Android phones. Let's jump to the device info. If your device has the GSM support, you will get some details for network under the SIM status. But mine is not supported, so it's not available here. in the model and hardware who gets the manufacturer model number with the ram details under android version it showing this os is based on the old android 12 with the android 12 easter egg android 13 based updates are under progress and will be available soon security patch is of february 2023 its kernel version is 5.15.94 below it you get the details for the gpu driver supported by your device for me it showing the vendor as amd and the gpu graphics renderer is radeon r4 with the opengl graphics 3.2 mesa bliss os version is 15.8.5 code name is arakadia official build so we'll get all the ot updates in this rom build date of rom is 19 may 2023 in the app drawer you get the bliss os application where you get all the details about the bliss os like its devices supported by their team and their maintainers let's check out the important functions are they are working or not in this rom Like here Wi-Fi is working it's connecting the networks without any issues if your device supports the sim then you will get the Wi-Fi hotspot too bluetooth is also working it's connecting to my S Fast Crystal TWS earbuds and audio is also working in the earbuds audio and video are working i streamed our channel's video via chrome browser and they are working absolutely fine all the peripheral devices like the keyboard mouse external speakers are working with this rom if you have the touch device it's not tested here So please reply with the comment is it touch input working for you or not so these things are essential for devices like laptops and pc 
If you are using the Windows tablet, then please check other things like sensor for reference. Please refer video given under the video description to know which things we need to test. ROM comes with some pre-installed application. Let's check out them. The most important thing is the kernel. Suppose the kernel SU. Kernel SU application is inbuilt in the ROM. We can flash any kinds of modules like Magix modules in this application to tweak your device. We can able to control the root access of root applications within the ROM. ROM didn't comes with the Google Play Store but to have the fully functional Aura Store which is a replacement for the Google Play Store. After opening the app, we have to first time set up the Google account. After that, we get the, all the Android application ready to download like Google Play Store. This application has the better user interface as compared to the Google Play Store. But to use the Aura services, first enable all the permissions in the Aura services application available in the app drawer. Who gets the micro G app support also? So if you don't like this application store, you can use the micro G apps too. Who gets some inbuilt applications like gallery application, touch calibration app. This application helps to calibrate your display. Just open the app and click the points on the screen to calibrate the display. For music, who gets the phonograph app inbuilt in the ROM. So these are the some useful application we've seen. We can able to install any Android application in the OS. If I get the good response for this video, we'll see the gaming and the performance of this ROM in the next video. Let's check out some customization features available in the ROM. Like Android phone who gets the Blissify customization tab in the setting. To avoid the lengthy video, we'll quickly overview only important features of this PC ROM. Who gets some screen of animations like CRT and scale. Under the gesture setting, we get the system navigation setting. This will enable the system navigation gestures and disables the navigation bar. So we can able to access the full screen recents and the back gestures. One added mode is also available here. You can use the old two or three button navigation gestures also. Taskbar is also available and is working. For power menu, we get the bunch of quick shortcuts. Like all the custom ROM for Android phone, here we get the bunch of QS panel and status bar customizations. Under the themes, we get some amazing theming customizations like Monet Engine. Here we can able to apply the pure black theme with the custom Monet colors. White luminance, chroma factor and linear lightness are the setting which will enhance the look of your old lappy. Instead of this, we get the bunch of headline or body fonts, icon packs, signal and Wi-Fi icon styles. Lots of different app door icon styles along with the navigation bar styles are available here. One of the amazing thing is that under the miscellaneous setting we get the game mode to enhance your interference free gaming experience. Hidden applications option helps to hide your sensitive applications. Under display we get the live display to enhance the look of your display. But my laptop didn't support it but it may work for you. As this is the official ROM we get the system OT updater in the system setting. Here we will get the all the notification of new updates and this can be installed directly via updater too. So we discussed all the important points for this x86 ROM for PC but there are some bugs and issues. This may vary as per the different users because these x86 ROMs are not device specific. So different users may face or may not face these issues. First is our store is working but I can't able to install any of applications. Sometimes it can't be able to download or if they download it they can't be able to install. It's showing the system incompatibility error. Next, we cannot easily swipe back the QS panel. To dismiss the QS panel, we need to tap the back arrow key on the navbar. Split screen is not working in the recent panel. The camera application is also not working for my laptop. It's getting force close. These are some bugs, but you may face more bugs instead of this. So please tell us in the comment section if you face anything else. So if you decided to install this build permanently, as the dual boot, then power off your device, keep your USB device connected to the PC from which we live boot at our Bliss OS. Now power on your device. When device started to boot, repeatedly press the boot menu key. In the boot menu, select your USB device. Now we get the same panel which we got at the time of live installation. Here skip all the options, select the last one Bliss installation. Now device starts the installation process. After 2-3 to three minutes, we get the prompt to select the partition where we want to install the ROM. Please remember you need to create a separate partition at least of 5 to 20 GB. Maximum is better for installation of lots of applications and files. Before booting into the permanent installation, this can be done in the Windows OS only, with some tutorial already available at the YouTube. I assume that you already created such partition. Here I selected SDA 13 partition. Next it will ask for the formatting of partition. Always do the clean installation with the formatting to F32 partition scheme. 
Tap OK, select S for UFI Grub. Next, it will ask for the Windows upgrade. Click No. System will start the installation of ROM. Next, it will ask for creating the user data partition in the ROM. This partition is user storage partition where you can able to store the files and all installed application data get stored. So always create the maximum size of this partition. This will take 5 to 10 minutes. Once done, you will get the prompt to boot into the Bliss OS or you can select to reboot and from boot menu, select the Android partition where you install the ROM. After this, you will get the search screen with the multiple options. Don't select anything, device will boot to Bliss OS within 1 to 2 minutes. This is all about the Bliss OS Go for low specifications devices which will definitely help us to give the new life to your old PC or laptops with the highly customizable Android experience on the last screen. If I get the good response to this video, I will create the next video with the full gaming experience like PUBG. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.